High-tech farming is the future of agriculture. Dubai is one nation that is spearheading that idea with the revolutionary farming techniques in the middle of the desert. Here's a full report. Large parts of the world, especially in Asia and Africa, battled food crisis through the 20th century. It was science which helped prevent millions of starvation-related deaths through green revolutions. The world is currently in the middle of a pandemic. Now, while the world looks towards its scientists to develop a cure for the deadly virus, it is also hoping scientists also devise means to avert major global food crisis. Countries are vowing to overcome their dependence on food imports, improve the quality and quantity of their food production. Dubai is leading the race with its ultra-modern vertical farm in the middle of the desert. It's a testament to the new wave of green revolution. The Al Badia Market Garden Farm produces an array of vegetable crops. These crops are produced in a multi-story format with carefully controlled conditions for exposure to light and irrigation. These are the seeds of revolution and they are nurtured accordingly. This is the future of agriculture. These are our aspirations because of many reasons. First, we do not want to depend on imports. We want to have local productivity throughout the year, regardless of climate change or if there is winter floods or droughts. On one hand, there are farms that raise cows in air-conditioned sheds that help the local markets with dairy products. On the other hand, you will find salmons being farmed in tanks that are overseen by a control room. There are prototypes of different grains duplicating weathers of different countries. Dubai is heavily dependent on imports. They make up 90% of its food needs. But in a region where geopolitical tensions threaten to boil over, long-term food security and self-sufficiency are key goals. And the pandemic-driven need to look inwards has proven to be the catalyst towards achieving that ultimate goal. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.